Yes, welcome back to our second in batch of the national men's kabaddi team. And as we earlier mentioned, they're from uh, Bangladesh where they did take part in the Banga Bandu Cup. It's an annual tournament that happens each and every year. And Bangladesh, the hosts were announced, or they did retain their title for the fourth straight time. And Kenya is, of course, performers at that particular championship. They did reach the semi finals. We're here to talk to them and understand how did it go and also what lies next as far as the Kabaddi League, domestic league is concerned. And of course, in the second batch, I'm pleased to have Mudas Pakotieno, the team manager for uh, the team that was in Bangladesh, and of course, uh, James Kamweti and uh, Tobias Muredi. They are all here on set. Karibuni sana. Thank Thank you. Sir. Yes, and uh, Mudas Pak, how the championship, of course, the preparations, were they adequate that the Kenya had for, as they prepared for the championship, for the Banga Bandu? Well, um, brutally honest, uh, we didn't have enough time mm -hmm. to prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, we normally have um, one month mm -hmm. prior mm -hmm. where the team gets to go for mm -hmm. a camp, mm -hmm. normally in Kasarani. Mm -hmm. But this time around, we had um, you know, a few challenges because mm -hmm. accessing uh, our grounds in Kasarani mm -hmm. is normally not free. Mm -hmm. So we had like uh, two weeks of you know back-to-back -back training. Mm -hmm. So preparation-wise, mm -hmm. we didn't prepare, have enough time to mm -hmm. prepare. Mm -hmm. yeah. But all the same, the performance was, was something commendable, right? It was brilliant no. compared to the previous mm -hmm. um, year where we performed fifth. Mm -hmm. This time we came third mm -hmm. with, with the quality matches. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed. And uh, maybe the highlight, James was beating Thailand. It was a close match, but all the same, uh, Kenya managed to get the job done. Oh, yes, Thailand was uh, the hardest team in our pool. Uh -huh. So beating Thailand was a bonus for us. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, beating them with one pointer, uh -huh. it doesn't matter if it was one or uh, many, but uh, it was uh -huh. very, very important for Team Kenya. Uh -huh. uh, having not uh, beaten Thailand before uh -huh. in uh, previous matches, uh -huh. because we, we had uh, two encounters with Thailand, uh -huh. which they uh, all of them beat us. Uh -huh. So this was uh, the only time we had to redeem ourselves. Uh -huh. yeah. And of course, you also put in some man of the match performances. Yes, I uh, had yeah. to. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, being a raider, yeah. you have to bring points for the team. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, while uh, the other uh, uh, players they defend, mm -hmm. you have to go and uh, bring points so that uh, uh, you can uh, 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 have many points. Because uh, when you talk about uh, defense and raiding, mm -hmm. defense only gets one point if mm -hmm. they uh, tackle the other raider. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the raider, you have opportunity. You can get bonus point plus one point or two points. Mm -hmm. So we had the uh, uh, like. Uh, the, the the main players uh -huh. in the Kabaddi game. Uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. yes, indeed. And Tobias, you will you make your debut against Uganda, yeah. and every player, I think, dream yake ni kuchezea national team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa experience poa, like, mini kwa nimeenda ku... Tuseme, like, timi li nibeba kama kuna cha talent yangu. Uh -huh. Like, mini sub, sub senior, nile uh -huh. nakajaribu yangu, uh -huh. na niliweza. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I mean, hiyo nakupatia... Um, where, where does that particular performance, you know, you got a, a number of points as well during the Uganda match. Your performance in Akupelekawapi, how do you build on it? My mind na prepare for World Cup, mm -hmm. yeah, because I must lazimani step up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, Mudas Park getting in, uh, blending in the young, you know, bringing into the team. Mm -hmm. How crucial is that to, to Kabaddi? Well, because for every team mm -hmm. that is doing well mm -hmm. currently in sports, mm -hmm. Uh, you find that they nurture talents from younger ages. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that Kenya Kabaddi Union started adopting mm -hmm. early last year mm -hmm. uh, was partnering with Kenya Academy of Sports mm -hmm. uh, to make uh, come solid comes mm -hmm. for, for young sportsmen, mm -hmm. especially from primary schools, secondary schools, mm -hmm. uh, universities. Mm -hmm. um, Tobias and I think a few of our junior players, mm -hmm. uh, we traveled four junior players this time around to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So four of them, we, we, we got most of them uh, in the Kenya Academy of Sports mm -hmm. uh, holiday camp mm -hmm. that had high school students and campus students um, uh, set for a camp in Jekwa. Mm -hmm. So uh, building talents at their young ages, mm -hmm. Uh, is our main focus uh, as at the moment so that we can build future team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Kamati, what uh, against Nepal really, what, what uh, cost the team? Mm -hmm. uh, let me say maybe overconfidence. Mm -hmm. We had already beaten Nepal. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, first half ended when we were leading with uh, seven points. Mm -hmm. And then when uh, second half uh, came in, mm -hmm. uh, it's like uh, everybody relaxed. Mm -hmm. yeah, people started rushing. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, very silly mistake. So I just think uh, 
we had uh, we had the match, but uh, we gave it away mm -hmm. uh, due to just silly mistake, which we have already talked about it, and uh, we have corrected. So uh, next, <laughs> I don't think Nepal will ever beat Kenya again. <laughs> Never. Next, next, mm. it's Baga, uh, Bagabandu Cup will be coming to the country. Right? No, 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 no. It will, it will no. be. It's no staying in, in Bangladesh, right? Never. 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 Yes. Right. And of course, how about the players like um, Ganshiam Roka, who really tormented the Kenyans? How the strategy to contain them? Did we, it backfire? Uh, uh, the strategy backfired. We had already talked about it. We had discussed and uh, uh, we knew what we were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But when we reached the match, I think uh, <laughs> all the ideas evaporated. And... Uh, uh, what we thought it will work for us worked against us. Mm -hmm. So when we were trying to do what we had talked about, mm -hmm. he ended up getting more than three points mm -hmm. instead of just w giving him one. Mm -hmm. So that uh, that's what cost us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and um, Atobias, now you know we gain experience. You made your debut. Now the journey has begun. Uh, locally, domestically, what do you want to achieve? Saina imkuwa most part of player Kenya kabali pinganika. Yeah. Na nataka kwa achieve more so that maybe next Bagabadu mm -hmm. ama World Cup ni bebe pia meet him. Mm -hmm. yeah. What will get you there? Nini takupatia hiyo kukua MVP in the league? Hard work na kujituma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Do you see hunger in, in the young ones coming up? Yeah, yeah I see. First of all, uh, uh, just to mention, Tobias was one of the players uh, who represented Kenya in the Junior World Cup mm -hmm. last year in mm -hmm. Iran. Mm -hmm. Uh, him and other young players mm -hmm. are really working hard for, to get their spots mm -hmm. in the senior national team. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 they will be there very mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. And plus, uh, Pro Kabadi, you know, Pro, Pro Kabadi is watching younger players, especially mm -hmm. the, the current season, season yes. 11. Mm -hmm. So they have a chance, bigger chances. Yes, indeed. Yes. And a number of, um, you had a number of uh, Kenyan players also who play that said, you know, spoke to Elvik and a, a number of uh, minutes ago, yeah. right, and, and, uh, and some. But how, how important, how relevant, uh, crucial are they to the team and even moving forward? Yeah, because uh, first of all, um, the most important players uh, in, in Kabaddi are the players who are chosen to play, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So generally the 12 players that went to Bangladesh, mm -hmm. Uh, everybody did their part. Mm -hmm. uh, the people who got a chance to play in the first seven, mm -hmm. uh, they did their part. So normally we, we, we have strategies on like just having uh, maybe one or two uh, players to do much of offense. Mm -hmm. mm, in most cases, we'll find it's either James or F Samuel uh, or Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, they are the people who you know, push for offense mm -hmm. as the other, the other people mm -hmm. uh, get on defense. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, Kenya having established themselves uh, quite picked up the sport a decade or so ago. Yeah, and right decade. now it's matching the rest of the world. You know, what will give them the ultimate uh, title in the world now? Well, um, we are matching the rest of the world, but I feel like we've passed <laughs> half of the world because <laughs> now, now we're in top five mm -hmm. uh, worldwide mm -hmm. and uh, we want to be number one country in mm -hmm. Kabaddi mm -hmm. uh, to beat the odds that people are saying this game is dominated by Indians or mm -hmm. Bangladesh mm -hmm. or Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. Uh, we want to uh, ensure that uh, whatever inputs that we make during training sessions mm -hmm. or preparations, mm -hmm. uh, it, they, they be consisted of um, you know skills uh, how we are going to get our speeds right how we are going to get our strength right mm -hmm. how we are going to get you know emotional structures of our team right mm -hmm. so we are slowly building onto that so that we ensure that we can be indeed the best team in the world mm -hmm. yeah and come to what um, as a raider what's the safest exit after uh, making the raid <laughs> Dubki. <laughs> Dubki is one of the, the moves, right? Uh, yes, the frog match. <laughs> yeah, it's the skill that uh, when the defender is coming to tackle you, uh -huh. you go low uh -huh. and then uh, you pass at any opening that you can get. Uh -huh. So it is safe and uh -huh. also efficient uh -huh. because uh, most of the uh, kabaddi is a physical uh, uh -huh. game. So when the, the defender is coming for you, uh -huh. he comes with all uh -huh. the aggressiveness. Uh -huh. So when you go low, uh -huh. there is a uh, you're protecting your body, that's the first thing, mm -hmm. and then he will also be uh, vulnerable to you. Mm -hmm. Because when you go lower, mm -hmm. he becomes weaker, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, his body is already up mm -hmm. and you're lower, and someone who is uh, lower already has a, a really good stability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for Tobias, what makes you a uh, good player in your position? An all-rounder, right? Yeah, I'm an mm -hmm. all-rounder. Mm -hmm. uh, what makes me a better player? Uh -huh. 
-huh. like I can do I can do both sides. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can bring a point on the reading side. I can also come and defend uh -huh. and the def and the offensive. And, and, and side. that's exactly what you earned Kenya against Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. And so that that makes you like be a valuable player to the team. Did they show you the rest of the team? They like show you you're a valuable player to the squad. Yeah, this they they seen. cheered me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they pushed me to do it. <laughs> yeah, nice one. I mean, it's also great to have um, younger ones picking it up and, true, and, and, true. and and really running away with it. True. That's that's um you need to show Kole Kokoyo positions. That's true. <laughs> yeah, because um, first of all, you know, Toby being that uh, that was his first international senior match. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the other matches he has played uh, junior matches. Mm -hmm. So when you get on a senior setting, it's a whole different world. Mm -hmm. You understand. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things that we we actually uh, we are proud of as a team mm -hmm. is that our senior player they try much as possible to nurture our junior players mm -hmm. both on and off the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's one of the things that keep our junior players mm -hmm. moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about the support, you know. I was at the um, uh, covering rugby when they came back and government was really making uh, nice promises to them and they yeah, didn't yeah, follow yeah. it up with checks, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for Kabaddi, is it the same? The, have you gotten your allowances? It's been tripled, right? Yeah. From a thousand shillings to three uh, to three thousand now. That's if you're training locally, but if you're abroad, it's from sixty dollars to two hundred dollars, you know. Is this money also getting to Kabaddi? Well, um, first of all, uh, uh, we, are, we are really happy for our rugby brothers. Mm -hmm. um, nice they one. came, I uh, think, a day before we came back. Uh, speaking of you know government support, mm -hmm. um, previous uh, we've had four Bangabadu tournaments. Mm -hmm. Just to speak about Bangabadu, mm -hmm. uh, they've managed uh, uh, to support us on two. Mm -hmm. uh, and now uh, the fourth one, mm -hmm. which we really expected at least uh, players, because most players uh, uh, they do Kabadi as a full time thing. Uh, when you do something as a full time thing, mm -hmm. I think uh, there should be some fo uh, some form of token to just to appreciate your uh, your efforts. Uh, about uh, the fourth Bangabadu Cup, mm -hmm. uh, the government, of course, we are still pursuing. They didn't support us. Though we had trouble, you know, we, we had trouble processing visa on arrival in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Players only managed to kusanya. Get in their own pockets. Yeah, get, the, uh, get back in other people's pockets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, 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 to at least raise the visa fee. Uh, allowance, we mm -hmm. are still pursuing the ministry uh, if they can reimburse the players. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. And that really uh, must have unsettled the players' minds. I think, uh, honestly, not because uh, we... I no need, no I excuse, need, no yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's something that maybe sometimes didn't just ignite the players mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Kamweti, what, mm -hmm. what next now? You know, you really did show the world what you made of, what you can do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, two man of the matches awards, that uh, makes you, on behalf of Team Kenya, to get closer to the dream of bringing the titles back home, like the World Cup you've mentioned. Uh, so, um, getting two man of the matches, uh, it's something big. I, mm -hmm. I really thank God for mm -hmm. it. But uh, we have to do more. Yeah, I'm not contented still with it. Because we have a bigger stage, we have World Cup coming. Mm -hmm. Cannot uh, lay back because I got man of the match now, I'm comfortable mm -hmm. because I'm mm -hmm. a better player now. Mm -hmm. Other players are also good in our team. Yeah, it, it's just that uh, I was given the opportunity to read more. Because if other player was given the same opportunity, they'll still get as ma ma uh, many points as I got. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. a player like Wafula, Daniel, mm -hmm. they're really good players, good mm -hmm. readers, mm -hmm. uh, Rogers. Mm -hmm. If you dedicate the reading to them, they'll become men of matches, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. yeah, so the only thing we have to do is uh, work as a team, mm -hmm. uh, improve on our skills, uh, learn to control uh, uh, the match mm -hmm. when it's proceeding, mm -hmm. and, and uh, just uh, keeping focused. Mm -hmm. yeah. So little, just a little, a little lax cost the, cost, uh, the team, uh, especially against Nepal, right? Yeah. That's what we can say. But all mm. the same, it's a match that's gone on to the next one. Yes. You know, so locally, uh, Kamwete, you may be planning to go to, to the Pro League and your stats are out there. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I've been to the Pro League mm -hmm. uh, two, mm -hmm. two seasons, mm -hmm. so uh, everyone wants to go to Pro, mm -hmm. all Kabaddi players. Mm -hmm. It's their dream to go to Pro League, mm -hmm. so uh, I'll really uh, be happy if I go to the Pro League. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm hoping it happens. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, Tobias, uh, up next, the Nini has. Up next, I look up the African Championship. Mm -hmm. We call it 23rd June mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are looking up to it. Mm -hmm. Then after that, 
tuangalie tu ligi ile itatupeleka mm -hmm. was the promise muda spark at the africa championship well um, the promise is one mm -hmm. we are we are going to take the african champ we are going to retain mm -hmm. our african title nice. mm -hmm. um, it's going to be eight countries mm -hmm. participating mm -hmm. Um, some countries maybe have not confirmed their participation, mm -hmm. uh, but if all African countries confirm they will participate, mm -hmm. uh, we can also confirm that we will win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and crucial, maybe crucial points that you picked from Banga Bandhu and you really like to see them happening, because uh, that one... That I think one yeah. of the most important things we learned in Bangladesh is that um, strategies can change. Mm -hmm depending on what opponent is, is also uh, you know, making as a strategy. Mm -hmm. So you can't go with plan A if opponent does like a plan B to thwart plan A. Mm -hmm. If you realize your opponent does this plan to bring your plan down, you have to adjust on another plan. Mm -hmm. yeah? So one of the things that uh, we will be going to all our championship matches with you know, multiple um, strategies. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, then the other thing is not to be so confident. Uh, you know the, co the kind of confidence that gets you to to lose a match or to to give to, away the to give the away lead, a, a, uh, yeah, a lead. Yeah. We, we are we are not going to we are going to treat all teams as tough teams because mm -hmm. all teams are training towards a particular championship mm -hmm. or match mm -hmm. yeah so we are not going to look down mm -hmm. below on a team technically are you going to maybe show up the the skill level of, of those who are involved in, in in technical aspect of the game uh, as in the coaches uh, how we train our coaches tactically yes um, maybe where what does I think change? that's mm -hmm. uh, I it's not much of a change because mm -hmm. most of the technical know-how mm -hmm. we are doing at the moment you know this is an, an Asian sport mm -hmm. sure. and you know our, our you know our knowledge back here in Kenya is only limited to what we can you know get uh, from grab them. from them mm -hmm. especially now when we get physical contact like mm -hmm. we in Bangladesh mm -hmm. uh, we managed to talk to a few of them they managed to correct us more mm -hmm. uh, we had their contacts mm -hmm. uh, so the best now we are doing is just to get more knowledge from them mm -hmm. uh, we normally talk by WhatsApp or, you know Instagram mm -hmm. we get to know what we need to do as, mm -hmm. as a technical coach or a technical bench mm -hmm. yeah so that's it yes indeed um, parting shot from Kamweti what does the future look like now back to the domestic league and mm -hmm. the league beginning right retaining of the title what else uh, Kabaddi is growing in Kenya uh -huh. and we're really happy about it uh -huh. uh, the Kenya Kabaddi League is big now mm -hmm. it is a uh, 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 televised almost everywhere mm -hmm. so we are really happy about it uh, coming to the African qualifier yes expect the best yes yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Tobias Kamweti and Mudas Park, thank you so much for finding time and gracing the touchline, talking about your performances at the Banga Band who cup the fourth edition. Of course, you reached the semi-finals and we wish you the best. Next up, it will be the Africa Cup, right? Africa Cup. Mm -hmm. And you're the defending champion. So go out there and retain the title. We'll all be celebrating you once again and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and that's at the end of uh, the... Kabadi, that was the second session of the interview. Up next will be the fan zone. We're looking at a number of Africa Cup, World Cup qualifiers that happened on Thursday night and Friday night as well. And some more matches also on today. And also not forgetting the Champions League final on 1st of June. That was last weekend. Stay on the touchline. I'll be back with Terrace Wayaki.